So, guys, Reapers, or goddamn alien evil T-Rexes from hell. Reapers is slightly easier to use, I will point that out. Uh, these guys are an absolute turd to get hold of. Now, to get these guys, you need to find a queen, you need to get the queen's health down, you need to get speared by the queen, impregnated. Then you need to let this thing gestate inside of you and then burst out of your chest. And then you still can't really treat it as a baby until it gets to juvenile. Yeah, it's it's even dangerous when it comes out of you. If you don't have pheromones on you, it will kill you. So to find Reaper Queens, your best option really is to use a rock drake because they will actually show you where the Reaper Queen is. So that's quite useful. And what you want to do is you want to make a pen. You want to get the Reaper Queen's health down. Once the health is down, you then kind of need to let them spear you. Um, and then you kind of need to skedaddle out of there. This is going to be down in the radiation zone as well, so it's quite dangerous down there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a rock drake that we got. It was a level 150 rock drake. And I've kept its health at about 75,000. I've only taken its melee up to about, I think, about 720%. percent we will have a look in a second when I get on him. Um, those are very doable. And I will say that although Reaper Queens are quite tough, the biggest issue with Reaper Queens is not the damage they put down on you if you've got your light pet on, because you're going to see this effect here. This means that it's, in, it's actually under a debuff and it takes more damage, and that works on the Reaper Queens as well. So the, the, the damage that they do to you is not the problem. The problem is the topor. I mean, for example, when I did my video about going to get rock drake eggs, I actually went the wrong way once, and a Reaper Queen dropped on my head, and I took it out with the crab, but the problem was then I had this topor that was going on forever because it took me so long to kill it as the crab. That's why we're going to make a pen and we're going to use turrets to actually drop the health most of the way. Right, okay, so let me show you what you're going to need to take down there and I'll show you the pen that I've set up. Okay, so what you're going to need as a minimum, I would say, is two sets of hazard gear. Uh, this is actually a hazard helmet I've got on. I've just got a pirate's hat on it. Um, and you're going to need at least four primitive riot shields. If you've got better riot shields, you might not need as many. But I would say this is the minimum if you're using primitive gear. Two sets of armor, four shields. She will drop that shield in a couple of hits. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to have to like literally stand next to her. So yeah, you've got to be careful with that. Once you've actually got yourself um, speared by her, you are going to need some Reaper Queen pheromone glands. So you're going to have to have the ability to kill more of the Reaper Queens. Now, you are going to also need a magnifying glass uh, that will allow you to actually see her health. And I would say you want some of these medical brews that I've got on my taskbar down here. You see, you've got medical brew down there. Um, those are kind of the minimum of what you're going to need. And if we have a look at the stats on this guy, he's got, oh, this girl even, she's got 74,000 health. And as you can see, 720% uh, melee damage. I think they're very doable. Uh, I mean, if you get a nice rock drake egg and you imprint it 100%, you're going to have, actually have a really nice rock drake anyway. And you should be able to get to these. The only reason I haven't upped the stats anymore. Because we, we do have like increased stats on ours. Now if you do have the ability to get a rock drake that can drop a reaper queen. You're not going to need the turrets that I'm going to be using in this. And also if you have the ability to put mods on your server. I would say you know getting something like this. This super spyglass. This is really useful because you can actually zoom in on things. And see their health from quite far away. But I'm going to do this. As if you're doing it on official, even though I'm not technically on official right now. Well, I say technically, I'm not on official at all. Right, let's go over to the area where you first go and find Reaper Queens. And I'll show you the pen that I've set up. Right, I do apologise about those levels across the top of the screen. Uh, I don't really want to use the levels to make this easier for me here. I want to keep this at a sort of fairly official-like sort of difficulty. Right, okay, so where I am here is the entrance of where you would walk down to get rock drake eggs. Oh, it's going to be a... Oh, it's not too bad. I'm on the rock drake. It's not going to shake the screen. Okay, so um, if you don't know where this area is, if I bring up my map here, and here we go. Um, oh, see, I've got a marker on there. I'm at 60.4, 68.9, and this is where I am on the map, as you can see. And where you would do is we're going to go down here. We're going to turn left where you would normally turn right to go to the drakes. If you don't know how to get to this area and you're not doing it with a rock drake, I will link a video in description, which is uh, the video that I did to actually go down and get the rock drake eggs. That will show you how to get here from the green area. Right, okay. So, what we're going to do is go down in here. Now, when you're underneath the spine here, there's two places to go off to the left. And where I personally would say build your pen, if you're not confident about dealing with Reaper Queens, is to go down here. Oop, get out of my way. Get out of my way. Okay. Go down here and we want to go 
all the way throw this down and you're going to come into this fairly good little oh, do this. so as you can see here i'm doing 561 damage that's definitely very doable with a lot of training Right, so this is the area where we've built our pen. Let me just clear out some stuff here. Right, so I've cleared all those creatures out there, and this is the actual pen. So what I've got here is a 2x2 two two structure, and inside that structure here, I've got a room that's got... Oh, sorry. Um, it's got a 1x1 one one room, which has got a sort of outlet box going up there. I've got that hidden off. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. I've got that sort of all penned off there just because those outlet boxes count as wooden structures and they can be destroyed if there's any sort of gap. So you just need to make sure those are hidden off. Um, now, if you're using a turret, uh, the minigun turret, it is a level 94 item to use. I think it's 94, 95, something like that. So it's actually, you have to be really high level to be able to use this. But if you have this option, obviously this is a low, low sort of uh, tech option almost. You don't have to have any generator or anything like that. Just advanced bullets. Now I've also got this sort of like little ante room here which I can throw my light pet down into. That will, actually I currently don't have on. Um, that will just keep it safe in there. I can turn it off and then I can go inside there. This is obviously the turret in here. I've got yeah, a fair bit of ammo in there. That'd be more than enough. Also another reason for liking this area is there is one of these Healy plants over here. So that just makes life a little bit easier. Although, to be honest, the damage isn't the issue. It's just the torpidity she puts down, really, if you've got a low-level creature. Um, and all I did was I built this. I'd taken the walls up four on the front because she can't get over four high structure. I put out a behemoth gate up there. And I just gradually put some, some of these gateways around. Now, I would say maybe this is not the ideal size. You might want a bigger pen. Um, she, when she spears you, if she puts you through a wall... That can actually glitch it out. So ideally you would have more space in which to do it. If you had a bigger area where you could sort of stand in the middle and make sure she wasn't going to put you through a wall because she's got such a long tail, that would be ideal. But this is sort of the basic easy setup. Right, okay. So now what I need to do is I need to go and find myself a Reaper Queen. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run around with the Rock Drake. And what we'll see is its head feathers will stick up when I'm near a Reaper Queen. Right, okay. Do so you see that smoke over there on the ground? Or kind of like the effect there smoky sort of effect i suppose that would be dust effect that is there's going to be a reaper queen over there under the ground so what i'm going to do is I'm just clear a path over there there she is now what level is she she is level 45 okay that's not too bad okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to lead her back to the pen i'm just going to run into the pen here I've left the I left the uh, turret on by accident. Oh well. So let me just close the door. There we go. Get on me, rock tray. There we go. Just gonna jump out of the way. There we go. Now you do, don't worry too much uh, when you're actually doing this. The turret won't drop her. And if, if it looks like it is going to, if you just run away, once she hasn't got that light effect from your lighter pet, she won't be taking that much damage. But that, that little light flamey effect she's got going on there. Now is she trying to attack something through the door? No, I think she's just trying to attack the door. That's fine. Easy enough for us to actually check her health. So... She's in the pen there, and I'm just going to keep checking her health. 35,000. I mean, when she starts attacking the gate, it's actually kind of cool, because it actually makes life a lot easier. Once her health gets down to about 15,000, I'm going to run inside and turn off the target. That, that gives, seems to be enough time to do it. Also, like I said, once you move away from her, the light pet the turret shouldn't be doing too much damage. And at 15,000, you should be able to drop her health with pretty much anything. Right, so we are about to hit 15,000 here. There we go. Right, let's get inside. For a killer. Let's go over here. Smash down. Right, there we go. 
Right, so now I need to drop her health down to under 2,000. I'm going to put out me magnifying glass. Just check her health. She's 12,000 health, so let's just do a bit of smackage. Oh, it's not it helps if I don't do that. Now I have the ability to see numbers obviously, but if you don't have the ability to see numbers, then you're just going to have to be a little bit more careful. Let's just keep checking her health. Let's see, she's at 7,000. We want to get her ideally under 1,000. There we go. That's 4,000. So I probably need to do another six smacks on her. Let's just be careful. We'll do five smacks and just make sure. Okay, so that is... Yeah, I can do two more smacks. So one and two. There we go. Right, she'll be at the perfect sort of health now. So have a look around. I see an Arthur Pleur up there. Let me just drop that. I don't really want that attacking me while I'm on foot. Thank you. Right, that's dealt with. Should be everything. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to leave the Rock Drake back here. Obviously, that needs to be on passive. Let me just sneak inside here. Throw down the light pet here, and I'm just going to turn off the light. There we go. And now when we come out here, what we should see is she's going to have a pink glow about her. There we go. Okay, so now she's sniffing me there. She's grabbed me. And... Oh! And now what she's going to do is she's going to go under the ground, so don't worry. So you want to be getting her to do that when she's looking over the top of this fence at you. Uh, because otherwise what she can potentially do is like kind of stick you through a wall. But there we go. That is it. That is how simple it is once it's done. The only thing is the reason I said take all the backup stuff is that she can potentially be knocking you back a load of times. And I would say if you have the ability, take like eight shields and four sets of armor because she can be really finicky about choosing to do the sniffing thing. I don't know if you saw there. She kind of sniffs at you, sort of growls, sniffs at you, picks you up the tail, does you? But, yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, if you're up against a gate or inside there, it's, it will actually glitch it out and it won't work. Which is why you want to do it over top of the gate. But she can be a bit finicky with that. But anyway, so that's how you actually get the queen to impregnate. Yeah, and now I've got a creature inside me that's gestating. Now what I would need to do is increase the level of it. So the level of the baby will be that 45 of the queen. Plus up to 75 levels from killing things. Let's go and kill a few things just to show you here. So let's go and kill this car now. As you can see, 2,000 experience plus three levels. Once you get to, I think it's like 50 something thousand, uh, you would actually get to the max of 75 levels. So let's just uh, get a few more things here. Right, okay, so I'm home here and on the way back I killed loads of stuff just to get the experience up. As you can see, it's 52,500 experience and that will give you the max 75 levels that you're gonna get from the baby. Uh, so, you, so the baby's gonna have 45, from the queen that speared us and then you are going to get an extra 75 levels on top of that so the baby's going to come out at level 120 and then it can still level up after that now at this point here you're just going to wait for it to gestate um as long as you don't take radiation damage it's fine if you die you don't lose experience or anything i don't believe you might just just i can't guarantee you on that one i'm not sure but you don't lose the baby if you die basically um so you're going to have to also have some pheromone glands. As you can see, I do have pheromone glands on me. We have killed queens before on an official server um, or anything where you didn't have, say, the ability to kill them easily. I would say just bring them back into the pen, kill them, that, you know, get them down that way and finish them off with whatever creature you've got down there. You have to kill them with the creature, though, um, or by hand. Killing them with the turret, from what I found, doesn't seem to actually drop the pheromone glands, unless I'm wrong with that. But yeah, I've never seen the pheromone glands actually drop um, when you kill them with the turret. You're going to need at least 10 of them, I would say, if you're doing it without S+. With S+, you don't. 
because you can just sort of uh, hitch the thing. Also, um, it might seem confusing on the wiki is when the baby is like sort of the face hugger comes out of you. The wiki says that you need to have the pheromones on every time you go into the room. But I've sat there and I just use the pheromones to claim it. And then once I've done that, I didn't have any danger. So I don't know if that's because we're on PVE or something like that. So I would say we'd still just have the Reaper pheromone glands just in case it tries to attack you. And you just need to have them so you can go into the room every time. So I want to show you what we've got over here. It's our little birthing chamber. Let's see if we can sit in there and perf someone. And we just watch this happening in here. So I'm going to speed up time on the server so that I can get this to the point where it's going to gestate quickly. Right, okay, so there is about 15 minutes to go. And I'm just going to quickly throw down my light pet because I don't want that potentially getting attacked in there. Make sure I've got some pheromones on me. Yep, now I'm just going to grab some meat for the baby. Okay, that should be more than enough there. Right, okay, so now I'm just going to go in here. Wait till they get to about three or four minutes and turn on, well, put some pheromones on and then should be able to see this happen. Right, so I actually left it to a minute and I'm just going to eat one of these pheromones. Now, these pheromone glands, uh, they give you 300 seconds, so that's obviously five minutes, but you can stack them. So let's uh, grab another one. There we go. Oh, typical. So it's always going to be an earthquake, isn't it? Well, this isn't going to make it hard to pick up a baby that's, or uh, press E on a baby that's running around everywhere. Anyway, so I've got the pheromones on. Right, let's wait to get to 10 seconds. Okay, we should see an animation starting shortly. Oh, look, there it goes. Oh, oh. Gross. Basically, right, your health goes really low when this happens. And then we're just going to... There we go. I've claimed the baby. I'm just going to give it some food. It, they just take raw meat. Now, these babies, you can't actually, or these little face huggers, you can't actually make them follow, and you can't take them off wander until they're juvenile, and at juvenile, you can just make them follow. You can't actually take them off wander either. So we need to wait for this maturity to go up. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna show you here, I'm just gonna wait for this timer to finish on the pheromones, and you will see that um, when I'm, up, at the moment, I'm not gonna get attacked by it. So the pheromones have run out now, um, and it does seem to be trying to attack me, but because we're on PvE, it's not attacking me, I think. I think that's the reason there. So I want to do is, uh, if you have another pheromone, though, it will calm down a little bit. All right, okay. There we go. Once you uh, interact with it, it seems to be that it sort of calms down a little bit. There we go. Now, you do want to make sure you have the ability to have at least a two wide gap and a one high gap to get out of here. We've got S plus wall, so we can just pick one up, but you'd probably want a gateway on here. Um, so I'm just gonna wait for this to get to a maturity of 10.1, and that should then uh, go to juvenile state. And at that point there, you can kind of treat it more like a normal baby. Also, if you're on S plus, what you can do is you can just hitch the dyno and you don't have this problem. Uh, so as you see, I've hitched the dyno there. It's not going to move around, even if I didn't have pheromones on. Good lord, they're ugly, though. There ain't nothing cute about those babies at all, is there? <laughs> oh, damn. Right, so that's a maturity of 10. So once we hit 10.1, it should uh, go into Juvenile. There we go, Juvenile Reaper King, and we should see it transform in a second. There we go. And it's going to stop trying to attack me now. Okay, right. So now at this point here, you can treat it a little bit more like a normal baby. Now with ours, we can just pick up these stone walls. Obviously, you would want a gate here. I'm just going to do that. Now I'm going to set its follow distance to... Uh, oh, that's not one. There we go. Follow distance to lowest. Okay, time to follow me. And we'll unhitch the dino. Now, you can't take them off of Wanda until they're fully adult. But what you can do, for example, is we could, I could just go jump on this crab here. We never really use her. Where's he gone? Uh, 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 he's right underneath me. I'm just going to... Uh, uh. I think I need to make that follow distance slightly smaller. Yeah, I've just set it to medium. I'm just going to go over here, get him out from underneath the crab. There we go. Jump on the crab. And I'm just going to press... There we go, now it's following the crab. 
and you could leave it here so it would actually just sort of mature. Now, obviously, you do need to imprint them as well if you want to get the best out of them. Yeah, there, there was some issue with the imprint in that there wasn't feather-like kibble in when they first come out, but apparently now that's fixed. That's fine. So the imprint in shouldn't be an issue with them, and you get them to 100%, it makes a big difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the difference between uh, what they're like without imprinting and with imprinting. So let's bring this over here. Right, okay, so I'm just going to mature this up to 100% quickly. So I'm not going to be here for ages doing this. Right, there we go. So that is 100% matured there. Uh, let's just move him around a bit. Right, so I just went and did a, a quick infinite stats thing on it and got it a little bit of food just because I wanted to check whether or not there was any stats that had, kind of hadn't kicked in. Um, often if you're using commands to raise babies, especially if you do the imprinting, uh, you won't actually have it tick in until you've actually given it one level, which is really weird. I don't know why. Um, but I just want to check it. So these, so it's had one point in stamina, but these are the stats that it started with. So it's a level 121, 11,000 health and all that and everything. So let's see, 11,000 health. It had like 1,500 stamina, I think. 231% and a movement speed of 100%. Now, if we go... There we go. Now I just set the imprint quality to 100%, and you're going to see the difference here. Let's uh, just put enough point in the stamina. There we go. That is the difference between imprinting and not imprinting on a Reaper King. Kind of crazy, huh? <laughs> um, so there we go. Uh, you'd be able to get, like, even on this one, 60,000 health to start off with. I don't know if that's because we have better stat gain on ours, but it says that the Reaper King on the, on the wiki should be like 45,000 health to start off with. So uh, I don't know. But as you see, it is a very significant difference. And we only have the 1.2 uh, change on it. So I don't know what's going on with that stat gain there. I, I have absolutely no idea. But anyway, that is the difference between a 100% imprint and a 0% imprint. Right, guys. So that is how you get Reaper Kings. Uh, obviously, I just wanted to come and have a look in the light, see what the uh, colors were. Oh, that's a pretty one. Um, oh, further cakes is going to hate me so much. Um, right, okay, so that is how you get Reaper Kings. It's a very involved process. What I showed you down there should work whether or not you have good good drakes that are able to dra take down a Reaper Queen or not. Um, if Obviously, if you don't have the ability to do it or you're not confident doing it, using the turrets, they can't destroy the turrets. Just make sure you're careful with it. Make sure they can't attack your actual generator. But yeah, uh, that should work. The only thing you really need to be careful of is make sure you've got enough armor and enough shields. I took four sets of shields and two sets of armor. I would say if you're really not confident, just double that up. Take four sets of armor and eight shields. You should be good. And just take the time to do it from outside the pen, just so she won't potentially spear you through anything else. Right. I hope you guys found that useful. I hope it helps you get Reapers. If you have any questions or feedback, please do drop in the comments section. Have fun, guys. Good luck with the taming. Catch you all soon. So I'm sure we all know that YouTube has kind of screwed over us small creators at the moment. If you feel inclined to pressing that subscribe button, I will love your face so hard. So hard. Wait, that sounds wrong. Or does it sound right?